something else we've spoken about is uh, the experience of using Rugby Pass, which is something that we talked about on this pod. Um, when it came out, Ender was um, doing a lot of research into what it's been like. What's your experience using Rugby Pass TV so far? It has been awful. <laughs> um, so even even at home, you can watch anything on the telly, no problem. Don't really have any interruptions, but Rugby Pass will pause, it will buffer all the time. <laughs> Uh, that's if you can find the games that's if they start on time we had that um, I think it was the first Irish ladies game in the Kelsey Challenge didn't start till like 30 minutes into the game which is just such a bad look for for this new competition uh, just it, it's it's not being enjoyable and I think if you're unless you're a really dedicated fan you're, you're going to give up on that fairly quickly it's just not particularly good to use uh, or, or particularly intuitive I don't think for, for some people yeah not not a great user experience yeah it's the it's the um, game clock not stopping when the referee stops the clock that's really been messing with me and you got no idea how long is left of the game you'd like to think it's a good starting point that we have it and um, because for a while there especially when we first started when he and I first started party it was you know, hard to watch some games because they just literally were not streamed. So at least now we have, you know, a source for this and a place that you can probably watch a game if it hasn't been picked up by a local broadcaster. The Scotland home games have been on iPlayer, which has been night and day (laughs) compared to uh, what Rugby Pass has been churning out. 